Evening, my wonderful brightlings. Welcome to my channel. So, I officially am exhausted, but also I have the three winners. Yay! I will put them at the end of this video of the three winners. So, I'm going to keep y'all three winners waiting. Uh, but when I post your name at the end of this video, um, I will also put my um, Instagram um, information so you could um, message me on there. And, or if you have Snapchat, I could do that. Or if you have Facebook, I will put my Facebook on there as well. So at the end of the video, I will put all that and I will put the three winners. As well. So anyways, um, yay. Um, so with that being said, um, I'm going to make this... I believe episode five, um, stay in your lane. That would be the name of this video. Episode five, stay in your lane. So in this video, and I'm going to make it brief because it's getting late and I got to get ready for work in the morning, early morning, but, um, in this video, I'm basically going to make it to the point. Um, pretty much staying in your lane and respect, um, the pronouns is actually what I'm going to call this. Stay in your lane, respect the pronouns. And what I mean by that is there's people out there that don't know how to stay in their lane. They don't know when to shut up, not speak, keep their comments to themselves, and move the fuck on. Um, they don't know when to leave people alone. They don't know when to not make comments or dumbass videos on social media um, to make them look like a bunch of idiots. Yeah. Um... So, and don't know how to respect the pronouns. Uh, for example, my pronouns, for those who do not know me, is them, they, and theirs. For those who do know me, is she, her, and hers. Um, and that's the way it is. I prefer um, she, hers, and hers when I know you, personally, just like me saying that they could call me by my nickname um which is angel rain that's my nickname or um my other nicknames that i have um if you know me by my nickname if you know me for some amount of years um then that's when you have that permission to call me she, her, and hers. If I just known you and I don't personally know you on a personal level, like I don't talk to you on a daily basis or we don't like talk, period. Like we're not in, like in a group chat or we don't talk on the phone um, on a daily or video chat or whatever on a daily for years, then I'm... I'm them there and them there and them there and they to you. Um, another thing is when a transgender is transitioning, whether it be male to female or male to or f female female to male, 
they should be respected. Because their pronouns are where they're transferred from male to female. It's she, her, and hers. As much as I don't feel Caitlyn Jenner doesn't deserve to be a woman because she acts like a asshole of a man, I respect the fact that that's a she, her, and hers. Um, just like with RuPaul, I respect RuPaul as them, they, and there because I don't know what pronoun would be appropriate for RuPaul. Um, same with the YouTuber that I watch, um, that's Hyperion, Morg. Um, he had done a video about it, and he said he doesn't care, but I would rather be respectful and call Morg them, they, and there. My partner is she, her, and hers, and so is my sister. Even though they're trans transitioning from male to female, you... Uh, you have to respect the pronouns. Things like that is very important to people. Um, in the situation that is changing or going through this journey um, within their sexuality or what have you. And for people out there that is very disrespectful, um, you need to just go fuck yourselves. I mean, that's just how it is. You literally need to go fuck yourself. Um, the next thing I want to say is, too, is that just like with anything you do in your life, whether it be you being in a new relationship or your sexuality or your spirituality, it's up to you when you want to come out of the broom closet or out of the closet, cabinet, cupboard, whatever. It's up to you to make that decision on who you are. Um, again, Caitlyn Jenner um, officially, she's like was like what, in her late 50s, early 60s. When she figured, okay, I'm a fucking female. I'm going to transgender into a fucking female. And that's how it is. Um, she lived her life at, in a lie of being a man. And she didn't want to be a man. But she had to play the role of a man. Because that's what she was born with. Male parts. But she came to realize that she is female. And she realizes at, an early, at a later age. Which is maybe in her late 50s, early 60s. I don't know. And her family, the Kardashians, which I'm not a big fan of, have been very supportive of that. Um, I know it probably fucked up Kris Jenner because she didn't know. Um, and that would probably fuck me up too if I was Kris Jenner and my husband tells me he's a female. Yeah, I would be fucked up too. I'd be like, fuck, we had kids together and we slept in the same bed and you can be honest with me? Like, what the fuck? Because at the end of the day, it's not that easy to just say, look, I'm I'm a female or look, I'm a male. Um, it's not easy to just say that. It's not easy to come out with your sexuality. Um because you got to find you first. And it's going to take time to find you. Things take time to figure out stuff. Um, like I said, it took me a while um, to find out my sexuality. I've been through a lot. Um, I have been with a female. Um, I had had other sexual situations with my ex-husband. That's... A whole nother story. Um, I had had an intimate moment with a female. Um, and then I had an intimate, an, 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 um, 
intimate moment with a transgender. So at the end of the day, that's what I feel makes me be pansexual. Because it's like, I don't give a fuck what gender you are. You could be gender neutral, gender fluid, ace gender, gender gender, whatever. I love everybody. I don't care. I don't give a fuck what gender you are. That's just me. Now, me being um, non-binary, I... I don't know how I'm going to say this. I just don't feel right. Now, it's not that I don't like my body. I I love my body. And I'm doing everything I can to take care of it. Because this is my temple. My body is my temple and I'm going to do what's best for it. But I don't feel like I'm a female. I don't feel like I'm a male. I just feel like I don't know. That's just how I feel. It's like it's it's not who I am. And that's why I consider myself as non binary because at the end of the day I'm just me. I'm just gonna do me. I'm gonna be free and say fuck everything because that's just how I am. That's how I that's how I roll. Um, it's hard for people to understand that because they're not properly educated because they don't do their research they just like to run their mouth like they know everything and they don't they like to create stuff in their own little minds whether it be sexuality or um religion, whatever. They just like to create what's in their heads and say that's what it is. And it's not. People and I'm not saying that that's bad. I mean, if you want to create your own little world, that's fine. Just leave other people out of it. Um, and mind your business. You create your own world. You create it by yourself. Don't involve people. Don't involve people that I know. Don't involve me. Um, basically, just keep myself and my friend's name out your mouth. Um, you could go around saying it, saying, oh, it's not about you guys, when you know damn well it is, because we could read between the lines, we're not stupid. Um, but, yeah, just mind yours. Stay in your lane. And, yeah, have our Kool-Aid. Um, because it's none of your fucking business. Mind yours. Mind your business. Uh, I did a TikTok on that about mind your business. You need to mind your business. And stay the fuck out of ours. Um, because like I said, you don't know me from a hole in the wall. You don't know me from a can of paint. You don't know who I am, what I am, and you don't know my history. You don't know my family. You don't know what I've been through. You don't know what my friends been through. You don't know their fucking story. You don't know my story. So, trolls... And haters need to mind your business. And stop running your mouth. Because your mouth is really going to get you fucked up. And people are going to see that. And people are going to be like, this bitch. Or this dumbass. Or this asshole. Um, so you need to stay in your lane. Like, literally stay in your lane. Um, the trolls need to stay in your lane. And mind their business. Um, but other than that, um, you need to just do you. 
Um, again, if you ever on social media or whatever type of platform, you're going to have fuckers. You're going to have dumb fucks that will fuck with you. You just got to learn to stay calm and counteract it in a positive manner. And laugh at them. You know, because at the end of the day, they're the ones that look like a fool. They're going to be the fool. They're going to be the fuckers that don't. That's just going to be fuckers. Um, and there's going to be trolls that's going to watch your shit. It just means that they're your fans. They probably have a fucking fan club or probably have pictures secretly in the corner of you because they're so fascinated and fascinated with you. They're like secretly in love with you or some shit. That's creepy. Secretly in love with you. Take pictures and save it on the wall. Ooh, my God. <sighs> yeah. Anyways. That's why they're all watching your shit. Because they're all up in your shit. They want to know what's up with your shit. Because they just love you. So, if you guys have trolls or haters, just pull kisses to them and tell them thank you for being in love with you. Because... At the end of the day, it it it, does, it makes you look good. It just makes your other algorithm look better because they're watching your shit, or they're looking at your shit, whether it be on here, Twitter, Snapchat, whatever. Your algorithm is gonna look fine. So you're not doing you're you're doing me a favor. You're doing people like us a favor for watching our stuff. Anyways, um, like I said, I will post the winners at the end of this video. And I will post my Instagram, Snapchat, and my Facebook on here so you can message me. And all that good stuff. So I hope you enjoyed this episode of Stay in Your Lane, Mind Your Business, and Respect. R-E-S-P-E-C-T. And all that good stuff. So, until next time. Deuces, bitches.